Our new study has some critical lessons for the global efforts to recover wild tigers. Based on 13 years of monitoring, we find that tigers can show rapid recovery in sight in connected landscapes that offer protection against unnatural mortality and hold adequate prey. In the initial years, we noticed high individual turnover, but as the population reached carrying capacity, we found more individuals surviving, females held territories for longer and raised multiple litters. In comparison, an adjacent site which still had human disturbances showed an increase in the number as surplus tigers kept moving in from the recovery site, but few survived and most females stayed for about a year, resulting in hardly any breeding. In a third isolated site, connectivity limits natural recovery and only two females remain in a place that can support over 30 individuals. Based on these findings, we suggest that tiger recovery efforts focus on monitoring population health using survival and female land tenure as metrics rather than solely relying on tiger density or rates of population change.